Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the angel wing file in Cricut Design Space so that it will draw the the feathers on the wings um, appropriately. So it does look a little strange when you first bring this design into Design Space um, because of how when I'm designing in Illustrator to save the drawing lines. And unfortunately, you can't specify in Illustrator to bring it over into Cricut Design Space, which lines should be cut lines and which lines should be drawing lines. So you will need to do just a little bit of manipulation uh, in order to get this file set up correctly. Um, I've saved it, what I think will be the easiest format in a bunch of groups. And so I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So first off, the both wings, the left and the right, are saved under one big group. So you'll want to come up here um, to the main heading and click Ungroup. Um, that will then leave each wing in a group. So we have a left and a right. Um, honestly, to avoid overwhelm in this side panel, I would probably hide one to start with, and then you can always come back and um, unhide it to do them or maybe cut them uh, on you know two separate times. Totally up to you and your comfort level what you're what you're working with. So now that I have just the right wing here, I'm going to again ungroup this, and then you'll see each piece is left in groups. Um, those are okay, we'll leave them as is. Um, but here when you see angel wing SVG cut, cut, um, you'll see that repeatedly down this row. Every time you see angel wing cut, the very first cut under angel wing, um, well, let's get one that's not hidden to begin with, we'll come up here. Uh, the very first cut under where it will say angel wing always needs to be changed to draw. So highlight that top of each pair, uh, come over here to line type and change it to draw. And then once you do that, you'll have to attach it. So um, for those who are not familiar with drawing with your Cricut, so here are the lines that the pen will draw. And then this is the paper that will be cut. If you don't attach the drawing to the paper that will be cut, uh, it will show on your mat and just draw on your mat. It doesn't have anything to draw on. So you always want to attach that. Anytime you're using draw, you need to attach it to what you're drawing on. Um, so we'll have both of those selected and then attach. Um, and you, it doesn't matter if you move them out of the way or if you just leave them all in the same spot, it won't matter. Um, so here again, always the one right under the angel wing, you'll want to highlight that, change it from draw, the cut to draw. Click back on it and attach. So this one I've done, that one I've done, you just keep working down the line. Change from cut to draw up here, attach. So they keep going to the top. You'll have to just scroll down a little bit. Once again, cut to draw, fixes that little strange looking box, attach. And we'll just keep working our way down. Cut to draw, highlight it, attach. Cut to draw, attach that set. Cut to draw, attach. Cut to draw, and attach. So now you should have eight pieces Um, that where you have gone and changed the 
lines so that they can be drawn on and attached them to where you want them drawn. This back piece is just kind of a template to show where all the pieces go while you're assembling and there's no drawing on it. Um, so now once I click make it, um, you can sort these. Um, I In the example box that I did with the white wings with the gold, writing i used eight and a half by 11 paper um and it fits you know on on basically on three pieces of paper and then you can go ahead click make it i used 65 pound uh cardstock in my examples and the um gold glitter gel pen from Cricut um, for the wings that are in the white, in white with the gold writing display. Um, you'll see pictures on the site of pink wings with a, a darker pink writing. I actually cut those on my Cricut Joy. Um, if anyone needs a tutorial on how to attach and change the lines from cut to draw on the Cricut Joy. It's a similar process. Um, I usually use the Joy with my iPad. So if you need directions how to do that on a tablet or on the mobile Cricut device, let me know and I'll happy to throw um, together a quick video showing how to do that also. After we cut this, we'll move on to assembly. Okay, now that we have all the pieces of the angel wing cut, um, I'm gonna show you how I assembled it. You should have nine pieces. I tried to label them, uh, the, 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 these feather parts. I will include a PDF uh, with, with the part numbers. <clears throat> they did not turn out as well as I thought they would be, um, but I do have, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is the last piece that will go on. I didn't want to number it so that they weren't showing, the number didn't show. Uh, and then there's a base piece that you can use if you choose. You'll see in these, I have put out little cut up circles, and that's so you know where the piece will line up. Obviously, some of these will line up pretty easily against the edge, but as we get into this, you'll see some of them are in the middle. So um, I'm going to start out with just this tape runner. I want this piece to be flat against my base piece. And then we will add some height with foam tabs as we go along. This project, this is the second one I'm in assembling. I've done quite a few and cut out quite a few prototypes. So this will be the first one that I'm going to frame. Um, I found that in doing these, they don't require nearly the number of foam tabs that the mandalas did. Okay, so we've got piece one. I lined up the circles so you can see all the way through it there. And of course, the edge lined up here. So we will come on, go on to piece two. Here you'll see there's three circles and that's because some of these will line up later. So it's always kind of the tip um, of the piece that you're working at with the circle that you want to focus on. So I like to see what I'm, doing and where it's going to go before I start putting the foam tabs on. So here you'll see the, the circle lined up. Um, so from here, that'll look good. I'm going to put some foam tabs. I 
love this spot blank on purpose and you'll see why. Okay, so to line that up, I want it to be somewhat close to the circle there with kind of the nose of it. And then we'll line this up here. So maybe I should have, it's pretty easy to go in and add another one if you don't think you have enough on this project, um, which is why I left that, but I, I do think it needs it. There we go. And we'll just keep going. So this is piece number three. Once again, the circle you want to line up and pay attention to is kind of in the, I call it the nose. It looks like a nose. These are the same foam tabs that I found I really liked and like the thickness of them on the mandalas. Um, and they've worked really well for this project too. I have a link to them in my blog post where you'll be able to find this free SVG cut file also. Okay, piece four. Piece four goes, we're gonna get this right, yep. Piece four goes on top of piece three with this bottom most hole of piece three. Okay. Sorry for that confusion. Sometimes when I create these files and look at them for days and days, I start to get confused between the drafts and this final design. So for everyone that I've confused, including myself, we're going to use this hole that's on piece three to match up piece four. And this one, you can kind of put it whichever way you want the feathers that you think look correct, um, just in this general vicinity. Here we go. 
Moving on to piece five. That one will go just left of the two here. So we're gonna put it here. I'm going to keep it so that the feathers kind of line up with the second piece here. Okay, that one feels to me like we need one more. There we go. Moving on to six, this one reminds me of some bananas. That'll go on this bottom of this second piece. Um, the hole will line up and then it just lines up against the edge here. Here we go. Piece seven, which the seven always looks so upside down until you put it in the right direction here. Of course, we'll go on this last part here. So we're gonna line that up along the, the top and the edge. And then this last unnumbered piece um, ties it all together. I have the wrong one here. I have the one for the left wing. Try that again. So I found what's worked best I think works best. Feel free to modify how you'd like. I'm gonna turn this over, just flip it over. So I'm going to tape runner glue here and then the foam tabs on this side. And that's because of the height that's already from all of this part of the wing. And of course, this is attaching to the, the base.
and then this you'll just line up fairly close here to the base piece. There we go. One wing, um, this one I'm going to do a pair. I'll go ahead and put this one together and then come back and show you what it looks like in the shadow box. Okay, I have put together the left wing. So now I'm going to attach them so I can put them in a shadow box. Um, right now I, I just have a piece of glitter cardstock that I put on the back of this shadow box frame. And then I'm literally going to just attach them with my tape runner to this glitter stock cardstock. This is the, the frame that holds the glass out away from the project. So I just thought I'd use it as a, as a cheat hack here to figure out where I want these. I'm just going to eyeball them. But I, I do want them even. Um, so I like that. I'm literally just going to I'm not sure it translates on the video, but these are beautiful if I do say so myself. I can't wait to see how they photograph. I'll put this back in here. I've included in my blog post um, another SVG that's the same, uh, your wings were ready, but our heart was not, my heart was not, um, which would be perfect to put on top of the glass for a memorial type design. So there we have it. I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel. If you are looking for this cut file, it'll be in SVG format on my website at specialheartstudio.com. Thanks everyone. See you next time with another project and free cut file.